Welcome, everybody, to Mr. Blobby and the Puzzle Crew. I am your host, Bob Rob, and he is Mr. Blobby. Slacious is here. He's over there chilling, supporting the French, as he does. Um, but we are here to do, to talk puzzles. Not just talk puzzles today, but we're going to be getting into our dealings with the German puzzle making company Ravensburger so you'll be familiar with this this was the puzzle we made during uh cat's live stream uh, it's a mandalorian puzzle uh, animated style really really nice puzzle it was a lot of, i have to say it was a lot of fun putting this together there was one problem and we had a missing piece. So I contacted Ravensburger. In fact, it was Gap Attack. He said, contact them. I bet they'll give you give you the piece. So I contacted them. They were ever so nice. So big, big thumbs up to you, Ravensburger. Um, great company. Great customer service. They sent um, a box two days later or three days later. With a brand new puzzle in it. So, fantastic. What, I mean, how good is that? That's such good customer service. Um, I did drop the message and say, oh, by the way, as I've already made this one, if you want to send a different one, that'd be great. But they'd already, they messaged me back and said, oh, we've already sent this one. So, a bit of a dilemma now because this one's made, but it's missing one piece. I don't really want to crack into this just to get one piece out. So I think I'm I think what I'm gonna do is leave this sealed and intact because it feels a shame to do that. And I bought from Amazon just a cheap frame, a big frame. Um, nice big chunky uh, wooden frame, black frame, and I've bought this Ravensburger puzzle conserver. Now, I've never done this before. I know Kat does this to all of her puzzles. This is going to glue it together. And I don't know what I thought I'd do was. As I'm going to glue this and frame it, I've shoved in some card into there, so I've infilled the hole, which doesn't look great. But I thought, if I then put a Slacious Room sticker over it, I don't know, is that going to look, maybe I, like, I don't know. Made by, I don't know. That's going to look rubbish, isn't it? Well, we'll see. I'm going to glue it together. I don't want to, I kind of like don't want to open the other one because then I've opened a sealed one and then that one's going to have one piece missing. I kind of prefer they just sent me the one piece, but they said they don't do that. They don't carry individual pieces. They print it and cut it um, and it's done per box. I think I'm going to do this, see what this looks like. I can always peel this off. And yeah, let's, let's, or I could, oh, I'll tell you what, actually, I, well, I could, I could put a different sticker on there. <laughs> now I'm thinking, what about. Is this going to be crazy? Is this too crazy? What about this sticker? 
<laughs> what about that one? That one's better. <coughs> that one's better. Isn't it? I don't know. Is it weird? Oh. I don't know. Should I find the piece? Should I find the piece and... Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna glue it together. Well, we're gonna glue it together. I can always retro do this. So let's just get on with it, and then we'll see. You can advise me afterwards. I'm gonna have to do the gluing bit, then leave this. You have to leave it for an hour. So this is the stuff. There's all kinds of these. Um, I thought I'd get the rabbit. I thought I'd stay loyal. To Ravensburger. I get this one. Oh, look, it's like it's a bit like um, how you level your shoe. That's interesting. Do I have to? Do I have to do anything? Does it come out? Can't tell. Well, so join me <laughs> as we glue this. We'll see if this works. I think this is doing it, you know. I think. Is that leaving? Yeah. There's like a sticky. Oh, it's interesting. All right, let's do put this apart like this. There you go. And uh, so I've never done this before. So what do you reckon? Should I take the one piece out? And then but then I'm leaving. Then I'm leaving the jigsaw. Then I'm leaving one jigsaw. Unmade and missing a piece. I've forgotten which I'm gonna forget which bits I've done. How should I should I do the perimeter first? Let's do the perimeter first, like the jigsaw. I didn't even know this was a thing until Kat said it. She said, oh, yeah, I glue all mine. I didn't know people did that. I didn't know you could glue, glue your jigsaw. Oh, yeah, it does leave a bit of a residue, doesn't it? So that's interesting. Hmm. If you if you haven't like me built or made a puzzle in a while, I've got to say it was very therapeutic. It was quite chilling. It was quite a nice chilled vibe. Just getting on with it in the background. Obviously, there was a stream going on, but. I thought it was... I, I enjoyed it. it. Took me a while, but then... Then it started to come together. You know? And that was quite satisfying. When, when... You know, you get a few pieces that... Get you going, you know? This is going to look quite nice in the frame. The question is... About this final piece... What do I do about it? Well, I think the blobby sticker stands out the most. But the problem with that is people are going to go, why is there a Mr. Blobby sticker on a Mandalorian puzzle? I suppose they might ask, why is there a Salacious Rum sticker on one? But at least kind of you know, from the same, at least they're from the same galaxy. Well, I suppose, actually, that's not the case, is it? Salacious Room has joined our galaxy through the interdimensional space portal. 
So he is now he now resides in the same galaxy as Mr. Blobby. So I don't suppose that really counts. I don't suppose that's an argument at all. I've now I've lost the plot of what I've done and what I haven't. So now I'm just all over the place. I think I've done this, but How many companies would let you contact them and send you a whole replacement because of one missing part? Well done to Ravensburger. Oh, there's the missing piece. Well done to Ravensburger. Very nice chap. I didn't speak, but by email. Very pleasant, very courteous, very helpful. And I tell you what, you sent this out mega quickly. I did tell him about Salacious's about Salacious's YouTube channel. And I did mention that we would give Ravensburger a shout out. I don't know if that affected things in any way, but I don't care. They, were, they did they did good by us. So I'll definitely be buying more of their products. And I like I like I, I do have branded loyalty where I can. Especially if they provide good service. I think. I think I may have done all of this. I think it's going to have to be a blobby sticker, isn't it, on here? What do you think? Also, if we look at the stickers, the blobby sticker, where did I put them? The blobby sticker. Oh, I suppose there's red in that one. I was going to say it matches. It stands at its... Hmm, I don't know. Blobby or salacious? I have got a white salacious sticker, but it says Star Wars Celebration on it. That doesn't really go. I think I'm going to go with Salacious, the original idea. Let's do it now and see what it looks like. If it looks rubbish, I can always peel it off, can't I? If it looks rubbish, I can always peel it off and crack open the completed puzzle. Thing is, what do you do with all the... What do you do... With all the other pieces, then, if you do that, that is the dilemma. Right, let's stick it on. Let's just do it. What do we think? What do we think? I don't think that looks too bad. I don't think that looks too bad at all. Let's move that out of the way. It's going to get glue on it. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've done all the glue. So we'll come back in an hour. And then we'll frame it. Then we'll frame it. Let's make sure. Right. 
So I'm going to hold, I'm going to put you on pause. And we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we've let this dry. Hasn't been exactly an hour, but it seems to be, it seems to have worked. I mean, this feels pretty rigid now. So I think I'm going to attempt. Maybe it's a little bit loose. I'm going to attempt to frame it now. I think. So it's actually a perspex frame. So here's this. Here's the perspex. I'm going to slide that on the top. I'm going to slide that. On. Oh, I wonder if this is too big. I wonder if the jigsaw is too big. Interesting. Let's let's see, and then I'm going to slide. It's it's your regular kind of base look. Slide this underneath, like such, like so. The puzzle is actually, although I measured it up, the puzzle. It's a bit bigger than the fr than the frame, actually. It might not fit. In fact, it's not going to, is it? It's just over the edge slightly. Interesting. Um, I don't know. Squeezing. I don't think you can really squeeze that in, can you? It is. It is what it is. That's disappointing. Could always trim the end, I suppose. Let's just see. I don't, here's the frame. So that's not going to work, is it? That is not going to work. No. So, do I trim it? That is the question. Do I trim it? I think I'm going to trim it. I think I'm going to trim it from the top. Um, which does leave... If you can see, there's probably about a centimeter to trim there, all the way across. So, I think I'm going to give it a go, you know. I wonder, will that work? Will this, will this be able to trim it? I don't know. Can I score that? Let's put you on pause. I'll come back later. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Bob is not normally the most crafty person. But I may have had some success. So I I got the cardboard that the um, frame was in. I'm going to put it on the desk so that I wouldn't score into the desk. And then I turned it over and I just scored along the top of the excess jigsaw puzzle. And the pieces have just literally snapped off easily. Uh, and looked like, I mean, I can't tell yet what it's like on the other side, but it looks to be quite a clean snap. So this is going to be the judge now. Because when I turn it over, what it's going to look like. Let's turn it back so you can see. I tell you what, I don't think this is going to be bad at all, you know. I don't think I don't think this is going to be bad at all, and I think 
there's a little bit of fray on a couple of them, but I think it's going to be covered up by the frame. So let's put this in the frame. Uh, I need to do it this way. I need to put it down this way. And then do it this way. Right. So, fingers crossed now. Fingers crossed. It's in okay there now. When I have obviously damaged the puzzle by scoring along the top. But as I was framing it, and there was a piece missing. Oh! Oh, by Jove, right. Let's put that there. I'll just clean this a little bit out of the way to give you a view of this. I tell you what, I tell you what, people, what do you reckon? Hey, I think that looks good. There's the missing piece. It's covered up by Slacious Rum. Kind of like, you know, this was made by Slacious Rum. That could be a signature on all the puzzles I do, I suppose. And that fits in nicely. That's quite a cool image, isn't it? I tell you what, I'm quite pleased with that. There's my first. There is Mr. There is Salacious and Mr. Blobby's first puzzle. I'm pretty pleased with that. I am pretty pleased with that. That's come out well. We've got the Stormies, the Death Troopers, the Gideon there. Well, I thought it was Darth Vader during the stream, but never, never mind. Mando, Grogu. So, there you go. There is a Salacious Rum original Ravensburger Mandalorian puzzle. Framed. Yeah. So, this is a sign of things to come. The puzzle can server worked. Massive thank you. Massive, massive thank you to Ravensburger. Or, I now have a sealed one as well. They're not going to do with this yet. But we'll see. But I have got more puzzles to make. Thanks for watching. You've been watching Salacious Rum. There he is. Over there. Mr. Blobby. And Bob. Of course, this is Mr. Blobby's Puzzle Crew video. And we will be doing a regular stream now. Where we make puzzles. Why not? Hopefully Kat's going to allow us to collab with her. We secretly want to go on Kat's channel. That was always the that was always the game. Blobby wants to. I don't know if he's been accepted yet though. But uh, we've got a couple more puzzles to make. Um, in fact, I can show you. Uh, well, no, we'll save them. We'll save them to the next stream. So there you go. If you want to um, smash the like button, that would be appreciate appreciated. If you're not subscribing please do so. Um, if you want to send Salacious anything, he's got a P.O. Box. The P.O. Box is scrolling across the bottom. It's Salacious from P.O. Box 1011 Worcester WR19EN. Got some nice stuff in the post recently, so thank you to everyone that sent something. I always enjoy uh, opening stuff on the, on the channel. So a massive thank you to the Monkey Lizard Army. And remember... Monkey lizards are for life. They 
are not spit roasting, nor, in fact, is Mr. Blobby. Goodbye. Blob.